Hello, I'm Dr. Geeta Srinivasan, Pediatric Ophthalmologist at IKRI Hospital and Research Center, NOIDA. I'd like to discuss a little bit about amblyopia or lazy eyes today. So amblyopia or lazy eye is the commonest cause of poor vision in children. In fact, out of 100 children that we see in our OPD practice, about two to five children would have a lazy eye. Now what exactly is a lazy eye? A lazy eye is when there is poor development of the visual pathway either in one or both of the eyes because of various reasons. Now since there is a poor development of the visual pathway, there is obviously poor vision in a lazy eye. Now the causes of this are many. One of the main causes is just eyeglass number or spectacle number. This could be a minus number, a plus number or a cylindrical number. Like I said, it could occur in one or both of the eyes. Now the second most important cause of a lazy eye is a squint or a misalignment between both the eyes. What is known in layman terms as cross eyes or bhengapan. Now besides this, anything that causes the vision formation in the brain to be hampered it could mean a lid disorder, a corneal disorder, a retinal disorder, all of these, a cataract in a child can cause a lazy eye. Now it's important to know that just by seeing a child playing normally, it is not possible to detect a lazy eye. Detection of a lazy eye would need age appropriate tests by a specialist. Only then can it be detected. Now what is the treatment of a lazy eye? Once a lazy eye is detected, first the cause has to be treated. Say maybe a cataract, maybe a squint, maybe the spectacle glasses to be given. And then after that, we come to the lazy eye treatment. Now the standard treatment for a lazy eye all over the world is eye patches. What we call is occlusion therapy. So what is recommended is to patch the better eye or the stronger eye for about two to six hours a day for a couple of months so that the weaker eye is made to forcibly focus and see so that the vision pathway in the weaker eye starts developing and the vision gets restored. Now it's important to remember that this needs to start at a very early age. In fact, before seven years of age, it is possible to prove lazy eyes really very well. After seven years of age, the success of treatment starts going down with each passing year. However, in recent times, we've got a lot of computerized therapies which have just about come about like revital vision therapy, binox vision therapy and also orthoptic therapy in which we have seen improvement even when in adults who have a lazy eye problem. Time will tell us how feasible this will be over time. And uh, besides this, I would like to emphasize that there are certain pointers or red flag signs which parents or caregivers can look out for in children to tell them if their child is probably having a problem with the vision. This could be going very close to the television to see the screen, holding a book very close to the eyes to view, squinting the eyes whenever trying to see something at a distance, Closing one eye when the child goes outdoors in sunlight, rubbing the eyes frequently, watering of the eyes whenever the child is trying to focus something, or any difficulty in certain hand-eye coordination movements that the child makes. These are indicators that the child would need an eye checkup by a pediatric ophthalmologist. Again, even if the child does not have all of these issues, what is recommended is a routine eye screening at about six months of age, then at one year of age, and then a thorough eye evaluation between two to three years of age. So do take care of the eye health of your children by getting regular routine checkups done.